the sunny side in your number one station for talk 90.3 nigeria in four fm yo 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 what's up what's up what's up what's up what's up how you doing thing on it's friday see the thing on it's friday cannot be complete without that that's that's wedding you know what i mean how you doing how's your body how's your mind and how is your soul? It is the sunny side right here on number one station for Talk 92.3, my Nigeria in 4FM. My name is Denise Dennis Wall, one and only of Nigeria in 4FM. No other person, no other body <laughs> but this one. Okay. <laughs> Black Tribe, what did I do? Is it not me doing us like that? Oh, I don't get was it something I did? Please furnish me with that information. My wrongdoings or my uh I can't see the message on my screen, but I cannot read the full message. What's going on? Duh. I was thinking you wanted to dull the mood today. Don't be doing us like that. No, I cannot try it. I cannot. For what? So what what is on the menu today? Let's talk cooking as a life skill. Oh, yes. You see this cooking? You know, last week when we were, you know, talking about this whole wife material, girlfriend material thing, I remember one of the callers mentioned as things that make up, you know, duties of a girlfriend, respect, industrious, and she should know how to cook. And I had to take note of those things. I'm like, okay. Um, is there anything wrong with a guy knowing how to cook? And just yesterday, in one of our meetings, boom, this comes up. You know, food vendors, they meet a need. And these days, they are everywhere. From the buka woman, you know, mama puts, madam, give me 200 naira rice, 100 naira beans, uh, put meat, 500 naira, yam de, put 50 naira, oh, plantain de, put 50 naira, oh. You get spaghetti, spaghetti if they on one put a hundred naira or everything how much she say okay everything one thousand. How many how do you people even combine those things? It still beats my imagination though. I think that's what we're gonna talk about in the final hour. The, some of the weirdest food combinations ever and how you find it, you know, tasty. So we go to commercial break and when we come back, this conversation We'll dive right into it in full. Do you know how to cook? Do you consider cooking life skill? I see tree- then so we were talking about food combinations um so start brainstorming 
because in the final hour you're gonna tell me some of the weirdest you've ever come across so yeah food vendors meet a need and these days they are everywhere from the buka woman the mama put to fast food restaurants to classy restaurants to even online food vendors and these days everybody is a chef go on instagram go on facebook someone just you know sets up and says hi guys so today i thought about this recipe and i want to try it so this is it you have all of these things already in your fridge who told you i have them in my fridge so i have my giza did i tell you i have giza in my fridge so I have my onion, I have my habanero pepper, I have this. So you're just going to go right there and you're going to blend. You're going to blend everything. Blend until it's smooth. Then you put your... So are you going to be trying out this recipe? Okay now, bye. Till next time. And I'll just be looking at them. Mm, mm, mm. Ever been curious about how your favorite meal is prepared in terms of hygiene? And the kind of ingredients that were used, you know, between um, awarawa tomatoes and pepper and fresh tomatoes and pepper to the kind of seasonings in terms of sweeteners and I don't know, to the area where it is being prepared. I mean, sometimes when you think about it, you, you don't want to imagine the worst. However, how about doing it yourself for that level of assurance? I mean, not the kind that Davido gave to Chioma, but the assurance that you get that this food was prepared under your, your, your supervision. You know what you put into it and you know exactly what you are consuming. And this is not to say do not patronize food vendors when you need to. But should you rely on them for your everyday nutrition? Really? How cost effective is that? What's better than ordering your favorite meal from a takeout? Make it it yourself. As we know, nothing beats a home cooked meal. So even if you have never cooked anything beyond grilled cheese or frying eggs or making noodles or boiling water, Improving your cooking skills can seriously improve your quality of life, says experts. Now, for the next 30 minutes, I'm going to open the phone lines and I'm going to be asking three questions. Can you cook? I'm not talking noodles. <laughs> I'm not talking boiling water. I'm not talking about heating up food that has already been cooked by someone else. Can you cook? I mean, let's start with the basics. Rice, beans, soup, pepper soup, stew. And, you know, if you want to now start, you know, say, hey, you want to make some continental dishes like Caribbean rice, like, uh, what's this one called now? Can you cook? If nobody is selling food in this life, would you survive? I'm not talking making cereal and making pap. Can even making pap serve? That, that's a conversation for another day. Do you consider cooking an important life skill? And do you still believe cooking is meant for the female gender only? So three questions. Can you cook to save your life at least? Do you consider cooking an important life skill? And do you still believe cooking is meant for the female gender only? Let's talk. 0817-923-0002-0817-923-0003-0817-923-0002-0017-923-0002-0017-923-0002-0017-923-0002-0017-923-0002-0017-923-0002-0017-923-0002-0017-923-0002-0017-923-0002-0017-923-0002-0017-923
do? I mean, did I say anything wrong? Did I do anything wrong? My own no good. How? I, I really need to know. Someone says, good day, Denise, and thank you for this topic. For myself, I can cook my local meal well. And if my wife is not around, I cannot suffer at all. Benga, send that in. So, Benga is Yoruba. I'm guessing you can cook all them a foriro, all them amala, a wedu and begiri. Um, what are that? You can make um, a going. What are your robot meal? Can I think of? Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, I think I think those are the ones I remember. So you can make all those local meals. That's that's a good thing. So in your house, do you wait for your wife to do all the cooking? Are there times when you relieve her of that duty and do the cooking yourself? What what's what's it for you? Nigerian info. Good afternoon to you and welcome. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Uh, the question that he asked is cooking important or is it made for female only? Mm. And do we I consider as the important life skill? Lifestyle. Life skill. Yes. Life skill. Life skill. Okay. Uh, to me, cooking is not meant for only female. Both men and the female can cook. Like me that is talking here. Mm. I'm a man and I cook very well. Oh, wow. I can cook all kinds of food. After I mean African food, I can mm. cook very well. So, anytime my wife is not around, there's no need waiting for my wife to come before ever to prepare something to eat. Oh. In as much as I know how to cook, I need to cook. Mm. So cooking is meant for both men and the women mm. to complement each other. And apart from that, seeing it as a, a skill is very, very good, very, very important. Because these days, restaurants all over, fast food all over, and even in the hotel, there are cooks that are supposed to be in those places to prepare food for the people who are coming in. Mm. So it's a, a very important skill. A very Thank important you. life skill. Thank you. You know, before now, uh, we had the mothers chase the sons out of the kitchen because they believe that the kitchen duty was um, a woman's duty. So when they see the boy child in the kitchen, they literally yell at the boy child to leave the kitchen. It's like, what are you doing here? Leave this place, my friend. All right. And then the boy child grows up, doesn't know how to cook, probably leaves the house for school. That's the university. And guess what? The child relies on that lady. I mean, in Unipods, there's a certain lady called Mama something, Mama Abuja, or the several other places where they sell food. I'd be good. And that is where this child will always eat. Or maybe the child gets lucky. By year two or year three, the boy child has a girlfriend. Or the boy is friends with a, a, a boy that has a girlfriend. Then the girlfriend starts cooking for all of them. Or sometimes the child is malnourished. And when some the guy is back from school, the mother says, ah, what have you been eating? See, hey, you have not been eating well. Oh, yeah, co, 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 co. I mean, been to boys hostel in a higher institution. And it will amaze you how some boys had to take the bull by the horn and start making whatever. In fact, sometimes their friends teach, tease them and say that they are making concussion. The way they cook the beans, at the end of the day, they will eat the beans. Anyhow, they cook the rice. At the end of the day, they will eat the rice. But what about the proper way? I mean, a decent meal doesn't have to have all the ingredients. Leave all those Instagram chefs that will put mama, goat meat, chicken, turkey, different types of dry fish, and uh, whatever, and stockfish inside one soup. It's plenty of and all of that. And they tell you they have cooked. No, no, no. A decent meal does not need to have 
all of those proteins. But the basic things. Am I right? I mean, that's how it's supposed to be, really. Should it be left for the female gender still? Okay, what if you travel outside Nigeria and your body is not yet used to the, let me say the way we say it, Oyibo food? How are you going to survive, really? You gotta look for a Nigerian restaurant. Are you going to be able to keep up with the expenses of outsourcing your meals? For those of you that eat three times daily, ha, ah, that's three times outsourcing. If you eat twice in a day, you're outsourcing twice. 0817-923-0002 and 0817-923-0003. Nigerian food, good afternoon to you and welcome. <coughs> Hi, good afternoon. Good afternoon. For a Come again? For success. Success, you're welcome. Go ahead. Yeah. I mean, the good thing is, for, is, is uh, mostly for ladies. But mostly you for ladies. You look like school. That's all I mean. You, you, you may have to come again, please. I said that mostly it's too for ladies now, but my personal cook is not bad, but it's naturally for ladies now. Who made it? Who made it? Who made it naturally for ladies? I was just too You don't see that way. <laughs> I was when I was telling my dad, my parents, my dad never come to the kitchen for once. Oh wow, really? <laughs> yes, yes. He's only been the father coming back. Everything I, until I go off the night. There was no day when. Kitchen. Anyway, my my case is different. My dad taught me how to cook. Okay, but me as a man, I learned how to cook from my mom. From but your mom, it was not just me. It was my sister them that did those stuff, but I have to learn it. Hey, okay. Like, when I enter university, I saw my aunt sometimes do one or two things. You understand? Oh, okay, okay. And for me, all these things, washing, cooking, those things are for ladies. Washing, uh, cooking are for ladies. It's all right. Washing, <laughs> cleaning, all those things are their duty. Eh? What okay. Go I, I, are you are aware that some of the renowned chefs we have all over the world are not female chefs. They are male chefs. Yeah, so that's not even at the speed. That one is quite different from together, but I have stuff now. Come on. Yeah. So any day where woman know day your life, your own don't finish with that. No, 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 I still I still know one or two. You know yeah, one or man. two. It's okay. <laughs> okay, so he thinks I'm all it's a woman single. Nobody should come and raise me when we have women. Uh, okay, um cooking is an important skill for all. I'm a man, I can cook local or intercontinental. Anyone where had me, I open YouTube, watch and go back to kitchen. Good afternoon from Angel Bless. I like your honesty. You see, YouTube has been saving lives since 1900. How to make, go to Google now. How to make a goosey soup. By the time you search, you will see like how many, how many, uh, how many chefs that have put out a video on how to make a goosey soup. And some of you follow these chefs and you just, you just keep the video like this. On your count on your countertop and then you have your ingredients and then as they are doing your their own you you are doing anyone you don't understand you pause and you continue some of you have had to attend culinary schools you know you've been to catering schools and you didn't go to learn these things because you wanted to start it off as you want to start it off as a business you went there to learn for yourself i mean i've seen some wives because they wanted to up their game in the kitchen department. They still hold on to that belief that the way to a man's heart is through the stomach. They attended catering schools. Not for the business of food. No, 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 no. Just to learn new recipes that they can start making for their husbands and their children. Nigeria Info, good afternoon to you and welcome. Yeah, this woman, Mr. Zion, good afternoon to you. Mr. Zion, good afternoon to you too. Welcome, go ahead. Back in school, although I don't really like this kind of talk here, I guess, you know, something, something else. Mm. One thing that traumatized me seeing, seeing girls cooking for boyfriends off camp. 
<laughs> that people buys me. If that what they came here to do, the whole school fees parents are struggling to pay, even borrow money to pay. You are here cooking for a boyfriend. God. Cooking is beyond just a skill, oh, it's a career to do. Hmm. Cooking is a career now. Have you been to some certain restaurant that they put about fifteen thousand, eighteen K and you test the food, you feel like running out of your man I give my money back. My brother, I don't talk again. <laughs> I can I can remember a, a dozen of them seated here. Don't don't ah. talk again. Just lower your voice. Lower your voice. My sister. <laughs> we got big name. It's, you see, let me, let me tell you. It's not the food you paid for. You paid for the ambience. <laughs> <laughs> you, you have paid for the... And you know those type of food? Then they, There's usually plenty sherere around the decoration of I'm the food. I'm telling you. Bring the eba make a chop. You will not come and make eba like shawarma. You now do some Sorry. decoration on the air, the soup. You will now put some leaf. You put carrots on one side. Put this on <laughs> one side. So, oh. <laughs> ah. G square. Mm. Cooking is beyond the skill. It's a career. Mm. Now, for this other aspect, if it should be for female alone, no. Well, I'll use the word. It's based on culture. I'm the German from Bayelsa State. It's like compulsory for every every man. It's like compulsory. You must know how to cook, except something is wrong with your opera. Hmm. And just the way get the rush job men for marriage now. It's because we can cook. All kind of cooking skills, the German will cook for you. And I will advise a woman, don't marry a man who cannot cook. If he cannot cook, you are in trouble. Even Jesus cooked for his disciples. There is something cooking does in your mindset. It gives you the ability to calculate when to drop the recipes. Hmm. How you can drop the recipes and the kind of taste you will get. All these are calculation. The, no, the kind of recipe you should drop from the beginning and the one you drop at the later end. These are the things that makes you unique as a chef or a cook. So male should go and learn how to All right then. On Facebook, um Ocon Namdi says people are using cooking to make a living. It's a profitable venture and good skill. George Ochai on Nominga says cooking is a necessary skill for both gender. I don't think cooking is meant for a woman only. I even do the cooking most times because I enjoy cooking. So I have a friend who is married to a chef. They're currently based in Abuja. Hm. I doubt she has been to the kitchen in a very long time. I mean, it, the husband takes it upon himself to do the cooking most times. So much so that she has come to fall in love with the husband's cooking. So she just lets him do it. And yeah, a few times she tries, she goes into the kitchen. But when it comes to food in the house, I mean, babe, just, just do it already. You know you are the... Sure you get what I'm talking about. <laughs> and so far, so good. They seem happy with that arrangement. Um, Someone once hinted that the stew that she makes in her house is courtesy of the husband. He taught her that particular recipe. And it's so simple and it's it's been working for them. Some of us had our grandmothers. Some of us had our parents teach us to cook. But then, you know, mother or father. Some of us had to learn the hard way because we got to a point where it looked like, hey, see how much I'm spending on food all the time. How about I just go and learn how to cook? Nigerian for good afternoon to you and welcome. Hello. Hello. Hi, good afternoon. Good afternoon. Yeah. My name is Mr. Ikechi. Mr. Ikechi, you're welcome. You're welcome, Mr. Ikechi. All right. On the subject whether cooking is meant to be just for women or for men, I would say this. Now, there's one thing about cooking. It varies from hand to hand. 
Have you ever been to a place where you see a guy who cooks something? Now, let me tell you something about cooking. You can cook a very delicious meal, but it's not neat. But you can cook a neat meal and it's tasty at the same time. One thing about cooking is hygiene has to be involved. I remember a neighbor of mine who, when they had their child, they brought a fried rice and served me, said that they were celebrating. The rice looked so dry. It was as if they took the salad, only cabbage. And just spread around the whole thing. <laughs> I shook my head. And I tossed it into the dustbin. Why did I do that? That my neighbor's neatness level is low. So, you see, one thing is that cooking is not just a skill, it's a profession. I don't know if you've heard of Gordon Ramsay. That guy is a master chef. But one thing you have to understand is that cooking is also a lifesaver. If you are in an area where you don't really know these people properly, you can cook for yourself. At least you are sure that nobody will poison you. Hmm. Yes. In the missionary field, it's a skill that you must have. And if you have the the gift of cooking, you can make a living. Where does all the population fall on? Food. There was a time when I was in school all we're talking to them was the oil money, oil money. At the end of the day, the oil money will be spent on food. It's just that agri is not very strong in Nigeria. If agri was very strong, you see the railway sector, a lot of the guys who are cutting hair will be there because they will be cooking in the railway, in the subways, and the other places. Cooking is the end part of agriculture. Hmm. When you know how to cook, not only will you save your marriage, but at the same time, you will save your own life. Hmm. One thing I want us to understand is that cooking is meant to be both boys and girls something. We are supposed to rise up and really know what we are doing. All right. If you look at Thank you so much, Ikechi. Um, Skillful Para on Facebook says, Good afternoon, Nigerian. For It's important for everyone to learn how to cook, but it's the duty of a woman to cook in the house. If the man starts cooking in the house, some of our women will take it as usual thing for the men to start cooking regularly in the house. Mm. Odama Adolfia says, cooking, I want to believe that it's for females, but today some men toe the lines. Chica Kevin says, yes, cooking is an important life skill. I mean, it's an act that requires skills and in, in extension, it adds value. It's sometimes, I sometimes term it as a practical kitchen chemistry. And it's very, very cost effective and safe. Didi, I can cook to save life. I enjoy it and yet not done. I am ever open to learning more recipes. I seldom eat out and I suggest it's not a gender thing to think of it. Don't we have professional male chefs among these female counterparts? Didi, with the rate of inflation these days and my super love for bread among other pastries, I am seriously determined to add baking to the list of my cooking masteries. Hence, we see cooking as a skill. It goes beyond it as a value and a professional at large. I didn't do wisdom. Chidi Berry says, cooking is everybody's business, not just the female folks. I enjoy eating what I cook myself than what others cook. Um, I can cook 
and I consider cooking a life skill. As a man, if your wife isn't available for reasons related to health and what have you, you should still be able to have a good meal. As a youth, your mom and sisters cook for you. As a bachelor, your girlfriend cooks for you. As a man, your wife cooks for you. You're missing a lot. Cooking can be fun, especially when you get creative. Shout out to our John man. Good afternoon, Lady D. Dabby from Bradhaka. Yeah, so cooking is a life-saving skill. And yeah, I cook so well. Cooking is my hobby. Apparently, so goes my 12-year son. He cooks most things and he's still learning. I told him you have to learn to cook because your sister and I won't be around you forever. Hmm. Good day, Denise. Funny enough, I learned how to cook from my mom. She always gives me meat <laughs> to taste when I'm in the kitchen with her. It made me get interested in cooking. I started cooking beans as early as 10 years old. George from Port Harcourt. Diddy, no god yell as an e jump. <laughs> Lady, if you define combination, go my one pack. Where did those guys they chop with scientific explanation? Rice, beans, yam, fried plantains, spaghetti, fish, salad, and ofeku. Scary. They did not go there as an Ijam man. I have mad cooking skills. So last year, Anne and my wife wanted to make peppered meats for her friend's wedding and decided to engage in vendor. After we purchased all the items, the vendor disappointed us last minute. I took the goat's meat and seasoned it all night. By the time I was done with the peppered meat, the guests were giving my wife thumbs up. She had no point in my direction. She had to point in my direction to tell them I made it. I, I learned to reduce going to Mama Puts when I saw a buka lick the spoon she was using to stir the soup and dip it back in the pot. My hunger died that day. Black tribe sent that in. JT um, says, Good afternoon, delightable Denise. Cooking is a natural skill that everyone that eats should imbibe. I am a cook artist and I can cook everything that I eat. Cooking is not gender related. I do delicious meals whenever I have to. My wife sometimes prefers me to cook when I am free. Um, Anonymous says cooking is a life skill that anyone should have. Regardless of their gender, when a man cannot cook, he can be terrorized or jujud with food by any woman. Anyone who can follow instructions can cook. Baking is what can be an issue because two bakers can have vastly different results because of their mixing technique or duration, even with the exact same ingredients. And bake for 40 minutes at 350 degrees doesn't bring out the same results from every type of oven. Did he making pap is not cooking, it's witchcraft. Pap by itself chooses in whose hands it will work and discriminates against the rest of us. <laughs> Is your pop popping? <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> so we will go on a commercial break. When we come back, I read your final messages and we round off the conversation. Stay tuned. You, you are tuned, tuned in to Nigeria Info. cracks me up lydia says my husband is our chef cooking is his hobby and it has saved me many times and i thank god his mother raised him like that i have two boys and i'm determined to raise them like that they will even attend catering school well that's good right says good afternoon mrs Wallu. cooking skills is not gender based though the joke is on anyone thinking otherwise 
It is a life skill. As a matter of fact, I am in the kitchen right now. It is one of my happy space in the house because I love cooking. All thanks to my elder sister, that woman would literally drag me into the kitchen and have me join her. Today, when I cook for the entire house, everyone is licking their fingers. Bright from Momok. Hmm. They should come and, you know, show your skills on, on the airwaves. Greetings, Diddy Dobby. I learned how to cook because I love food so much and I don't want anything to ever stand between me and my eating. So may I hear fine bones send that in. Black chai say, person, don't go do pap pepper soup. <laughs> Final caller. Oh dear, we lost the call. <laughs> I hear there's another one that is as difficult. See, custard is easy. See, there's... I don't know. There's never a time people have gotten it wrong with custard. But you see, Akamu, that's Ogi. That particular one. That one has a spirit. You will finish making pap and then you have to put the pap back in the pot. Because. Is it Dawa they call it? I think it's Dawa now. You have to put it back in the pot or cook it. And sometimes it's that bad that even when you put it back in the pot. It's not popping. Nigerian info, good afternoon to you and welcome. Yeah, good afternoon. Good afternoon. Go ahead. You have one minute. All right. My name is Chinasa. Chinasa, welcome. Yeah. I cook. I cook very well. Mm. I cook so the point that my girls, I have two boys, two girls. The mm. girls will always please daddy go and cook now. Mm. <laughs> you understand? It's a hobby. And any time I cook, but I tell my wife, do go to the parlor and say, let me prepare the meal for today. And I give them very, very good food. Coffee, my mom, when I was a little boy, oh. she always fed me, and, hey, I've gone, bring this guy, bring it, watch me cook. So it has benefited me even up to this point. Every oh. man should do that. Thank you. Every man should learn how to cook. Everyone should indeed learn how to cook. Time went up our mate made to highlight some of the benefit, but she... Cooking your meals yourself is less expensive. Learning cooking as a skill is a great choice for anyone. I mean, it helps us increase our knowledge of different cuisines and flavors around the world. And you will realize pretty quickly that good food can be just as convenient and quickly available as most of the junk food alternatives. Becoming more aware of how meals are constructed means you will pay more attention to what you eat and with, with all the results you know, smarter, more delicious, and a more healthy choice. Huh? You want to go to a fast food joint? Well, that's fine. You want to go to a cafeteria? Well, that's fine. Spending money on prepackaged meals gets too expensive for a young adult or family on a budget. So prioritize that life skill, all right? Trending stories afterwards, live appearances up until 2 o'clock. Keeping up with political...